Hello everyone. Machine learning is an ever evolving field. One subfield inside machine learning that has evolved greatly in the span of 2 to 3 years is natural language processing. And one of the major contribution in the field of natural language processing is being made by this amazing organization called as Hugging Face. In today's video, I'll show you how you can extract model predictions directly using the phenomenon called as zero shot classification. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. But hey, hold on. It would be really motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos that I create on machine learning and data science. With that, let's kick start the video. In the first part of the video, I'll show you how you can utilize zero shot classification for making a prediction on a sentence. So now, one question that would populate in your mind is What exactly is zero shot classification? Well, zero shot classification allows us to classify data which wasn't used to build the model. What I simply mean is the model was built by someone else using a different data set altogether. We are using it to run against our data and extract predictions. If this idea is clear to you, let's look at an example. I have a simple sentence with me and the sentence is Can you order some pizza and book an Uber to the nearest cinema house at 10 pm? So this is the sentence that I have. So the different possible classes or the different possible categories that I have defined are flight travel, cab travel, reminders, food and movies. So let me go forward and press compute. So as you can clearly see, it is able to throw out some probabilities and all of these probabilities would add up to one. So given if I have one class, it is able to tell me that it is 40% confident that the given sentence belongs to a food category. The model is 30% confident that the given sentence belongs to a cab's travel related query and so on and so forth. One thing that we can also do is I can also select this box which is allow multiple classes equal to true. So let me click on this and now when I press compute it will tell me that it is 91% confident that this query or this sentence belongs to the food category, 84% confident that it also belongs to a cab's travel based query. It is confident 77% that it also has some amount of movie related elements in it. This demo that I am showing you exists on the official Hugging Face website. If you want to implement something similar to this on Google Collab, then the second part is exactly what you should wait for. So without wasting any further time, let's move on to the second part of the video. So we finally reached a point where we'll be utilizing Hugging Faces Transformer Library to create our own version of the zero shot classification. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the activity by installing the Transformers Library. The way I would do that is by calling the command pip install transformers. So let me run the cell. After having installed transformers the library, let's go forward and import the necessary modules. In order to carry out the zero shot classification, the next task in hand is to create an instance of the class pipeline. Supply the type of classifier that we want. So ideally in this use case, we want a zero shot classification. So that is what is denoted in form of an input argument. And I save it into a variable called as zero underscore shot underscore classifier. So let me run the cell. So this will essentially go forward and download the zero shot classification model. After having successfully downloaded the model, now we have reached a stage to make predictions. In order to make predictions, the three things that I will require is the input query, the candidate labels or essentially the classes that I want to classify this input query into and finally, do I want the multi-class output to be equal to true or false. Now the first input query that I pass is can you order some pizza? I pass in the same classes that I had defined previously 
and I also want the multi-class output to be true. So let me go forward and run this cell. Let me now go forward and show you the results in form of a visualization. So let me run the cell. So as you can clearly see, it was a very simple query. Can you order pizza? And the model is able to correctly classify this query into a food category query. Let us go forward and change the query now. Let me add more complexity to the query now. So let me change the query from can you order some pizza to can you order some pizza and book an Uber to the nearest cinema house at 10 pm. So let me run the cell. Let us go forward and look at the result now. So as you can clearly see, the given query now falls into three categories, my food category, my cabs travel category and movies category as well. Let us add some more complexity to this query. Now the next thing that I've done is I've increased the complexity of the query. So the query goes like, can you order some pizza and book an Uber once my flight reaches Mumbai? to the nearest cinema house at 10 pm. So it's a very big question that I've asked to this model. My categories or my labels are still the same and I'm also interested in the multi-class output. So let me go forward and run the cell and let me also go forward and show you the final results as well. So in this case, it is very evident that the query falls in all four categories and the model is able to predict it with high accuracy. So yeah, this is the amazing power of zero shot classification that you can utilize going forward as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like the content that I post on my channel, it would be really motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching this video.